This morning, we are continuing our series on summertime bites, the most common pricks and stings that could really ruin your day, the best treatments and the myths. So last hour, we showed you which snakes are venomous and the biggest mistakes that people often make when treating a snake bite. In fact, you sent us these hundreds of pictures of snakes that you have seen in your yard. The snake season runs until October. Now we are tackling pain caused by yellow flies, wasps, ants, and jellyfish. So first, jellyfish, regardless of what you you may have heard urine is not a remedy for jellyfish sting. I mean, yeah, I know it was in a, a friend's episode, but I talked with the doctor at UF Health's Poison Control Center, as well as with the a lieutenant with the Jacksonville Beach lifeguards, and they tell me that is all a wives' tale. Something else, spit or saliva does not work either. Neither does fresh water. And don't try using alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, or ammonia to treat a jellyfish sting. I tell you this because it's commonly used. Rubbing the area with sand is not a good idea either. It's just not going to help relieve the pain. Now, most jellyfish stings are not life-threatening, so treatment is really for the symptoms. I spoke with Dr. Anthony, G G uh, Anthony DiGelorum, and he explains why the old wives' tales that you've probably heard just don't work. Basically, jellyfish uh, tentacles have a bunch of little tiny barbs, thousands and thousands of them, and that's what's causing the sting, right? And what happens is when they hit you, some of them sting you and bother you, and it's caused by a change in temperature or a change in, like, the saltiness of the water. So if you put fresh water or you urinate, which is not the same concentration as seawater, you actually cause more of those little barbs to fire off, and you can actually worsen it. So by peeing on it, you're actually making the, the sting worse. And you don't want to do that, which is why the doctor says you want to remove the tentacles first if you can see them with your fingertips or if you happen to have a tweezer with you at the beach. And you want to rinse the area with the water where the sting came from. So like the ocean, for example, you don't want to use fresh water. Now, the doctor says that he does recommend vinegar to help make the area feel better. You know, I talked to Jack's Beach lifeguards and they say that doesn't work with all stings. And it can actually make it worse, vinegar, if you have been stung specifically by a man o' war. So keep that in mind. The medical director for the Jack Speech Lifeguards reminds you also to monitor the person for severe allergic reaction after a jellyfish sting. You can use Tylenol or ibuprofen to help with the pain. Benadryl is also a good option if that area is really itchy. But again, both say that the best treatment is using ocean water if you're stung off our coast. Now, if you are stung by a yellow fly, ants, bees, or a wasp, you can make a baking soda paste to help cool the pain. So I have baking soda here and a little bit of water. You basically just mixed it in. You don't want the consistency to be so loose that it won't sit on the skin. So for example, I added a little too much water. So you just wanna get it to the point where when you put it on the skin, it sits there. And what's great about this is that it actually will cool that area and really help relieve that pain, particularly if you're dealing with children. Another option is also rubbing the area with hydrocortisone and using an anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen. I was talking to someone whose uh, son was bitten by a yellow fly and it really swelled up on his forehead. So you might also need to use ice as well. And remember, you always want to monitor for severe reaction.